You may have realized that you only have to program one container to get a picture-in-picture -picture movement running through all six outputs. Now please try to get the split content running again to have the performance benefit back again. Remember how to create more video layers and use the split content presets. To get the split content running again, you now have to use more layers as in the single setup. As all layers are rendered on every side, the performance will not benefit now, because all clients have to render all the splits. To get the performance benefit back, you have to use a special setting. Therefore, please open the virtual side tab. The virtual site tab shows all connected sites or layers depending on your selection in the device tree. Selecting the virtual site itself shows the original site with the original site ID. Selecting a layer will show all connected layers of the original sites. Please select now layer 1 and discard the checkboxes for layer 1 on site 3 and for layer 1 on site 4. Doing that virtual layer 1 is only connected to the original site 2. Repeat this step for virtual layer 2. Virtual layer 3 and 4 should be connected to site 3 and virtual layers 5 and 6 should be connected to site 4 only. Now layers 1 to 6 are routed individually to certain sites. Please note, the All Cameras preview only shows contents attached to the first side of the virtual site. As this setting is a general setting which cannot be changed on the sequence or on the fly, I recommend renaming and maybe coloring to better identify layers with special settings. Renaming can be done by selecting a layer and press the F2 key on the keyboard. You can find the coloring settings in the Inspector tab when selecting a layer. Renaming and coloring layers is useful for layer routing, split content, FX and multiple sequence cases. The next chapter is about the layer order and the rendering order. The device tree order from top to bottom defines also the render order. The top layer is always the real layer for the render order. Layers can be sorted by drag and drop. Each position down from the first entry will add a little increment to the that axis and bring this layer in front of the previous one. The layer ID will not change though. This is important for addressing layers from external applications. The next feature I want to explain is the groups feature. Groups are used to select multiple layers quickly. Select multiple layers, right-click on groups in the project tree 
and press Create Group. Groups can also be shown in a separate tab. Therefore, select the Groups tab from the Tabs menu bar. Make sure it is comfortable accessible. By clicking this group resource, it will select all participating devices. Value changes will now be performed on all group members. To deselect, please select a different layer or press the escape key on the keyboard. As you may know, Pandora's box has the capability to use multiple sequences. You can find sequences as every resource in the project resource tree. Right-click the Sequence folder and create a new sequence. Pandora's Box sequences are completely independent. There is no connection between sequences. The very important thing to know is that all sequences use the same layers. Value changes on layer 1, controlled by sequence 1, will be disturbed by changing values on layer 1 by sequence 2. Please make sure not to use the same layer in different sequences. Naming and coloring layers is helpful to avoid that. Pandora's Box Manager is able to use 8 individual sequences. Pandora's Box Manager Unlimited can handle unlimited amount of sequences. It's about time to have another exercise. I want you to create a main show sequence running different video clips and manual pause cues which have to be called by a show caller. Independent from that main show sequence, the show caller wants to be able to call in a live picture in picture at any time. For this example, please use the color bars test pattern instead of a live stream. The transition in and out should be a scale transition. Take your time before continuing this video. To solve this task, I start programming some video clips in free run mode on the main sequence with a simple opacity transition and pause cues for manual progress. I will call the sequence main show. On the second sequence create the color bars test pattern on a new unused layer. To create the scale transition I start with the scale value of 0 going up to 0 0.25 in one second. Please create a pause cue at the beginning. One second later I create another scale zero key. The in and out transition is working. This sequence I will call now Livestream. stream. 
To be able to play and pause any sequence at any time, the Sequence Control tab is very helpful. By default you can find it in the top left corner. With the Sequence Control tab you can now play every cue for the main sequence and push the live picture in picture at any time. The only thing you have to think about is the layer order to make sure the live picture in picture is always in front of the background programming. Please have a look now on this example. Here I use the same layer for the video clip and for the live picture in picture. As you can see, the video clip disappears as soon as I change the playback state of the second sequence. To avoid this, please never use the same layer on different sequences. Make use of the layer naming and coloring to visualize different usage. If you want to copy the whole part of the sequence, including cues, please keep the ALT key pressed while dragging a selection box around containers and keys. Ctrl C and Ctrl V copy and paste the whole part to the now pointer's location, including cues. This action has created a second picture-in-picture -picture transition on the additional sequence. After changing the position data, there now is an extra call option for the live picture-in-picture. -picture. As output and camera settings normally do not change while running a show. Another useful showcase for independent sequences is to put those values on a separate sequence. The benefit of this approach is, you do not have to extend containers for the whole show time and you can have different states, using test patterns or different blending values. Again, please make sure not to use layers or cameras or outputs twice on different sequences. You can find the Cues tab in the top menu bar. This tab offers a great general view for cues. You can not only see which cue you are actually running in your show, but it also offers editing. Cues can be renamed, you can change the ID and change the type of cue. You can also change the timings. Very convenient while rehearsing is the possibility to directly jump to certain cues via right-click. 